Hi everyone, um, I've been using the excuse of bad weather to delay building a portable power supply battery pack for the um, Wellbrook ALA 1530. Um, it's always been my intention to take it out on the expeditions, uh, take advantage of you know a very very uh, quiet environment that I get down at the woods. Um, so the summer is sort of upon us now, um, and so today I took a trip to. Maplin um, to buy an eight compartment battery box effectively. Now they had sold out. Uh, eight is what I need for eight 1.5 volt batteries. The uh, Wellbrook um, amplifier electronics operate at 12 volts. So um, I had no choice but to buy a 10 compartment box which is fine and here it is. Um, I can't remember how much it was. I've got the receipt somewhere but it was literally just a two or three pounds. Um, and then so what, what I also did was I bought another crocodile clip, which you can see here, and a banana plug, which you can see on this side, and then I basically soldered them together with a piece of wire to effectively short circuit two of the compartments that I don't need in this sort of 10 compartment box. Um, the connector for the interface box um, I also bought there at Maplin. Um, it's a 55 millimeter connector um, and the, the actual wire for this for the box um, again was just a standard item off the shelf at Maplin it's basically um, like the old style PP9 battery connectors um, with just two fly leads uh, and that attaches to uh, the side of the uh, battery box and I simply soldered took the connector apart and soldered the wires to it um, and it's done. Uh, the whole lot, the batteries I already had, but the, part, the, the parts to build this battery box were less than £10. They were less than £9. Um, and as you can see, I think the light's on, on the antenna, uh, yeah, interface, and it's all working. So um, I've got it connected up to the ELAD, FDM Duo, and as you can see, it's working perfectly. So um, that took me about 10 minutes to build, um, just a little bit of soldering, just soldering the uh, crocodile clip and the banana plug, um, and then just two solder joints on the uh, connector, the remains connector. So you can see, all is good, um, it's all working. Um, there's the Wellbrook behind me, which uh, will soon be uh, traveling with me on um, the expeditions. So, you know, this is really easy to do. Um, Anyone with a Wellbrook um, with an idea for for um, going out on an expedition, you know, should try this. It literally, as I said, costs less than ten pounds. I don't have very good solder skills, but um, you know, you literally can't go wrong. Um, it's very very easy to do and very cheap. And I'll be really interested to see how the Wellbrook performs out in the woods as compared to my long wire. Um, I don't know how bigger difference there'll be because it's obviously it's electrically very quiet and my long wire antenna although not resonant obviously is very long um, so I don't actually know um, whether it will perform any better or not I suspect it will but um, because obviously it has it's has an amplifier as well um, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what I want to do next is build a power supply for the ELAD itself and take that out on a de expedition. But the thing with that is that I think to take to get the full benefit of that, I you know I think I need to take the computer as well and then literally run you know the ELAD as an SDR with the Wellbrook out in the woods and I think that there's potential there for some superb results. Um, I mean the results I get at home you know indoor signals from low power stations from you know South America, um, you know already I think you know pretty good but to basically take this entire indoor setup and take it outside is really you know where you want to be and um, definitely definitely worth a try so um, so there you go my uh, latest project um, probably the easiest thing I've done it was easier making that than it was the interface cable that I made for the to attach the Wellbrook to you know my Sony portables uh, this was even easier but I think potentially you know this um, little portable power supply for the for the Wellbrook um, you know it's going to make a big difference to uh, you know the some of the stations that um, I've been receiving out on the expedition so anyway I hope you enjoyed that um, and thanks for watching